<sighs> so I believe right now I am in this phase that in my life I am exploring different things that I am able to do and uh, I'm excited for this video for you guys are gonna be seeing me as I got this chance to host a whole event be a whole MC and I had a blast so the reason why I'm documenting these first seasons is so that if in the future I want to look at myself and be like you're doing terribly I'll be like no Damaris imagine you actually came from far you did well for example let me give you a perspective here yeah? ah, when I started YouTube and if I, by chance I watch my first YouTube video I'm always cringing and comparing to what I am able to create now I still know it is not the best of the creation but I am happy to see the progress that I have made and so that's why I'm excited to share with you guys my experience hosting an event here in Ethiopia hit the like button subscribe and enjoy the video so this is when a girl was a host tonight i'm gonna be launching my new career where if you have event you can call on me and my co-hosts we are heading to an event that you're gonna be hosting i'm excited because the first time i'm loving 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 this new me who is exploring different sides of me and i can't wait how do i feel mm. I, I was expecting the first time I'll be hosting, maybe I'll be nervous. Maybe I'm not because I have a co-host. Uh, but I feel ready. Let's do this. Let me bring out the new talent that is hidden. Yeah, so let me introduce. I wish you can see my dress, but in the house there were no lights, unfortunately. So you can't see how beautiful we actually look. Because we are rocking this African vibe and love it, love it, love it. So one second so I can hear what my co-host has to say about her first hosting experience also if you have hosting gigs that you want someone to be like your MC we are ready well equipped with all the words to say can't you see it comes naturally mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's Beza sorry you can't see her clearly mm -hmm. tell us what do you think about your first hosting experience I'm super excited uh -huh. also because yeah. this event is cute is amazing stuff it's called Maverick Hey, yeah, Maverick means lightning in Amharic. Yeah, so we're gonna light some rooms tonight. Let's go. <laughs> yes, please, guys. You're gonna have a good time, and you look so beautiful. Thank you very much. I'll try and show them your outfit maybe in the morning because well, now I know we actually there was no power. We have yeah. to dress up in a when the lights is off, but we're ready for Maverick. Mm -hmm. I hope you all pull up and we're gonna enjoy. Yeah. You know, next time you would see more of us at yes. the scene events. Yes, yes. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that light looks better. I actually have to tell you guys, next time I'll try my best to inform you about an event that is happening prior so you can come and show us and give us the support or at least we can maybe enjoy whatever event is happening. I'm sorry about this one. It was like last minute, but we are going to have a blast. I'll try and capture everything. If I don't, tomorrow morning, I'm going to give you a recap of what happened, but cross your fingers that everything goes well. Excited, happy. Let's do this. So one mistake that we almost did, or at least Dango did, did not cause any problems on our end, is make sure as an MC, I'm just telling myself and reminding myself, is be there on time, be there early uh, before people start coming in case you need to change things, in, in case you need to get some instructions or more guidance or stuff like this. Or in, in case you need to fix your lipstick or something like this, just whatever reason. So apparently, as we had decided to go enjoy some Shakla teams before heading over to this event, but thank God we were on time and we were able to make everything go on. This is before it starts. <laughs> Then I'm gonna take a minute for me to explain to you more about what Mebrek events is, or maybe not me. Let's ask the organizers of the event. Take a minute and tell us who you are. Uh, my name is Noam Gidu. I am an event organizer slash teacher. Uh, okay. uh, yeah, uh, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so why are you here and what is the event today you organize? Um, well, for the last five years we've been working with different kinds of events companies and basically the problem was um, like people wouldn't give us uh, enough budget or enough time to achieve the vision. So in order to, in order to show the other people what we can do or to raise the bar higher, we just decided to open our own organizing company and 
name is Labrak. Uh, Labrak actually means uh, lightning and thunder, yeah. uh, Mark. Yeah. So the concept is that's a DJ battle between six DJs, famous DJs, uh, top of the town. And basically the concept is we're trying to give out grand prizes for the So finally, after so much flexing of our outfits and showing off and feeling good about ourselves with African everything represented from the earrings to the hair to the outfit, loved, loved, loved how we looked and the theme that we went with as the host or MC, depending on how you want to call it. It was time for the event to start and it was such an honor to be the one to do the whole introduction. I hope you guys can see or even hear me, but yeah, that's your girl. Queen Desta. Are you guys ready for the second edition of Mavrek Events? Let me hear you say yes! Yeah. 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 yeah! Wow, wow, wow! I'm happy to see all of you and I can't wait for us to have a blast night. And tonight you're gonna start by having a show by the fire team from Yakov. Let me see you say yes! Yeah. have some background of some behind the scene as Beza was interchangeably being the host and also managing some MC leading stuff. And yeah, finally the DJs took over the stage as we did a great job of introducing them to the people or to the audience. Yeah, and that being said, it was time for us to finally see the competition between the different G DJs and then it was fun talent and just different people being able to showcase who they are and other people having fun people singing people dancing and i continued staying by the stage to entertain more people and to just have an amazing time i have to say it was a great experience um uh, well i did dance i did have a great time and i have to also say shout out to all the star buddies that said hi to me that day well not that many but like i had several nesta buddies that came to say hi and i really really appreciated it i also appreciated everyone that complimented our looks i'm gonna say my looks and my co-host's look because who we, we, we were looking good don't you agree let me know in the comment section what you think and uh it was a great experience i have to say and i can't wait to host more events you know the thing is you know these childhood dreams that you always have one that i always have in my heart or in my head is to be able to lead a big congregation and one of my big part of hosting that i want to do has to be like professional aspect of hosting like for example <clears throat> this was more of an entertainment hosting but i'm looking forward to having uh maybe a group of certain professional staff or there's a certain word that is used for that kind of hosting but those are things i'm looking to get into and from today you know what a girl has changed her bio now she is the content creator the artist because remember i paint <laughs> 
and the hosts or the MC for events. Oh, corporate events. It's called corporate events. I can't wait to host some of those and have an amazing time. The thing is, I keep challenging you guys to keep on challenging yourself to keep on getting out of your comfort zone trying something different you never know you could be shining or you could be sleeping on your career or on your talent and so feel challenged to also go out there but let me tell you i had a fun i had fun hosting i was also so happy because this event was an english event so i didn't have a problem with like i have to speak amharic uh i think almost everybody was speaking in in english despite the fact that there was no music it was just more of the djing so there was not like the music was like maybe amharic or english or whatever language i had a good time loved 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 it and if you have more events that you want to invite a lady to host for you i am putting myself out there queen Desta, you can check the link in the description and you'll see how to contact me or you could also reach out to my co-host for an amazing great and uh, unforgettable event hosting experience otherwise i hope you liked this video it was short and sweet next time i will keep you updated on whatever other events i'll be attending or whichever other events i will be hosting otherwise always always remember to create time for that which ignites your soul until next time ciao so i'm dancing in front of all these people